So moving on now, and next up we wanted to talk about uh, unit and normal, uh, unit tangent and normal vectors, right? Um, so we know that uh, if we're given, you know, say, r of t, some vector valued function, right? Um, we know that uh, r of, say, t naught, r prime of t naught is tangent to the graph if you place it you know, at the corresponding point r of t naught on the curve, right? Um, okay, but so is any, well, I guess non-zero scalar multiple. Um, and so if the thing you care about is the tangent direction and not so much the magnitude, right? Uh, the magnitude of our prime gives you this, you know, if we're thinking about, um, you know, motion, uh, you know, particle motion or just motion in general, then, then we might also want to know about how fast something is going. But if we only care about the direction at a given point, well, then it makes sense to define the unit tangent vector, right? So the unit tangent vector well, that's given by, so we use capital T for it and it's, as you would expect, uh, 1 over the magnitude of our prime times r prime of t, right? Um, and one thing to note is that this is, it's going to be defined for all t values as long as we stick to smooth curves, right? Um, remember that there are two conditions required for a curve to be smooth. One is that it has to be, you know, the, the position function defining that curve has to be differentiable, so r prime of t has to exist at every point. But it also has to be non-zero, right? For a smooth curve, the derivative can never be zero. And so that's good because to form the unit tangent vector, you want to divide by the magnitude. We always have to worry about dividing by zero. But if we're on a smooth curve, we don't have to worry about that r prime um, being zero, so we can divide by the magnitude and all as well, okay? So that's the unit tangent. It's a pretty simple concept. We just take the regular tangent vector, divide by the magnitude. Um, one place where this is sometimes useful is if you're, if you're looking at tangent lines um, and you're thinking of this as kind of like a, you know, velocity along the tangent. Well, the moving at unit speed means that the, the sort of line parameter, like the t that you'd use along the line, not the one on the curve, but the one along the line, um, that's going to be uh, exactly a measure of distance, right? Because normally you do t times the magnitude to figure out how far along the line you went. But if you use a unit vector, t tells you kind of how far you're going along the tangent line. That's one place where it might come in handy. Uh, in any case, uh, let's do a couple of examples, see how we calculate these unit tangent vectors, and then we'll move on and we'll talk about normal vectors as well.